I'm David Kilgallen. I take Scram, I kind of lead the band really, and my role is basically to teach them how to play music together as opposed to just playing on their own and making a, making a sound as a band. Scram represents what you can do with traditional music and it also puts it on a sort of similar level playing field with other bands who go out and perform. It brings it alive essentially because up until that point kids are just students, They're very, it's very self-contained within schools. It sort of elevates that to a new audience potentially, not just on the Isle of Man but further afield. And it's also a selling point for the Isle of Man, it's a, it's a commodity then, whereas beforehand it's just an education. I've only really got involved in Manx music very recently. I just think it's a great community. There's a, a great bunch of people that I know now and so many new opportunities that have opened up. That's one of the big parts for me, is just the experience of being in a band and traveling and stuff like that. That's something I've never done before. So that's sort of, for me, it's more getting experience of what it's like actually just like making music and playing music for everyone. It's very special for me to play Manx music. I'm not originally from the Isle of Man, so it's just nice to be part of something that's happening with other Manx students around the world. I think Scran's changed me because it's uh, made me a lot more aware of how other styles are played and given me a lot more confidence when playing, uh, especially with other people and a style I'm not used to. I think it's special for me to be playing it because I'm part of the Manxness and it makes me connected to everyone and I'm part of a growing culture. It inspires people as well to do it, which can make it spread around the half man and maybe even more countries. It's about meeting other people, it's about working together and really it's about finding confidence through what you understand as music and then also what other people know and, and putting that into one. It's team building, that's what it really ends up being. And I think when, they, when they're happy with the results they, they end up with, you know, that's, that's great to see for me. So. Cultural identity is the one thing that we can use to communicate with other countries basically but I think part of the learning curve there is actually understanding your own culture first and to see that we're not so different after all you know we actually have been through a lot of these stories there's a lot to resonate with and I think if we truly understood that as a nation then we would be much better communicators worldwide. Yeah.